Domain Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode of Rain Access Solutions, I'm going to show you how to use the Noyafa NF858C to test for voltages in the wires in a CAT6 cable. I'm also going to show you how to use this device to test for voltages in the wires in the CAT6 cable. Aside from that, we're going to also use its POE scan feature to scan and trace for cable that has power in them, like this cable that we have here. The Nayafa NF-858C is a multi-purpose tester that any IT or network technician should be having. To make the display in the screen obvious, I'm going to change the screen to monochrome. To select from the option, you need to either press the down button or the up button. Right now, we're going to select the POE function. On the right side, we have the port flash port and the port for scan. The top one is the port for RJ45 testing. Don't plug or don't use that port when testing a PoE cable. After plugging in the PoE cable into the port flash port, select the PoE function and press on the OK button. It will display on the screen the wire maps and with the corresponding voltages. If there are no DC power present, then this will be empty and the cable is neither passive or active cable. Now we're going to test its uh, POE scan function. Go and find the scan function and press the OK button. This scanning is for the regular cable. Press OK to change it to POE scanning. Locate the scan port and use it to plug your PoE cable into. Now we're going to use its probe to locate the other end of this cable. You can adjust the sensitivity of its tracer by turning the knob up or down. To activate scanning, press down the switch. Now let's go to the server room and locate the other end of this cable. All of those IP points are connected to this device and this device is called the PoE switch. Now we don't know yet which of this port in this POE switch is our CAT6 cable connected into. We're going to scan each of the port until we find the other end of our cable. If there is a toad and it's not continuous, then this is not the right cable. We will have to find and continue our search throughout all the cables. There, once you hear a continuous tone or beeping, then we have found our cable. The Nuyapa proof comes with a torchlight and you can still perform the scanning while the torch is on.
let's unplug this cable from the port and go back to the other side to test the PoE cable if it still has power. Unplug the cable from the scan port and insert it to the port flash port. Now we're going to select the PoE function again and do a test. There, as you can see, there is no power display on the screen. And if we plug the cable back to the IP phone, you will notice that the IP phone is dead. So in a sense, when you're troubleshooting for a dead IP phone, the first thing to do is to check if the cable has a PoE power. Now we're back in the server room. Let's plug in the cable back to the port again. And once we're done, we're going to go back to the office and check if the phone is switched on. There, our IP phone is switched on and is now displaying details on its screen. Let's try and call other phone, see if it's gonna work. There, it's rigging. Alright guys, that's how we trace PoE cables using the Dayapa 858C device. And if you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel, tap on the like button and drop your comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day everyone.